In today's FAQ Fridays video, we're discussing how to take Instagram worthy photos with your smartphone. If you take a bad photo with your kid or your friend, you might get an eye roll. But when you post a photo for your business or organization that doesn't reflect well, then you really have something to worry about. It could damage your brand perception, which is costly to fix. You can't always hire a professional photographer. We get it. It's pricey and it takes time to line someone up. So when you need to take photos for your business or organization, you should know how to put your subjects in the best light. Here are three tips for how to take better photos with your smartphone. Tip one, be sure to use grid lines. Did you know when you open your camera on your phone, if grid lines don't automatically show up, you can actually turn them on in your phone settings? Using grid lines is important because it assists you in following the rule of thirds by placing your person or product along the lines. This allows your photos to appear balanced. Tip two, instead of zooming in, get closer. If you're taking a photo of someone or something from afar, your natural tendency may be to zoom in. The problem with this is zooming in causes the photo to become distorted. Try taking a few steps closer to your subject and see if that improves the quality of the image. Tip three, try creative angles. Get creative to get noticed. Try a more engaging angle or a different perspective. For example, rather than take a photo of the speaker of your event from the back of the room, take the photo from backstage, showing the crowd and their reactions. Or if you are taking pictures of a new product, try taking an aerial photo and see how that changes the feel. At Priority Marketing, we help our clients put their businesses in the best light possible. Whether it's on Instagram, Facebook, or email marketing, we use these tips to take eye-catching photos with our phones to best serve our clients. Do you want to turn on your brand through social media? Then give us a call or visit us online. And if you don't want to miss out on more PR and marketing tips and tricks, follow us on our social media channels. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next Friday.